What's up guys, Tyler Chico here with something I usually don't do, a Duel Links video. So, King's Resonance just came out and I was like, yeah, why not do a quick review on this? So, the title of this video will be, Should You Get King's Resonance? And I'll talk to you about it. But, to make the video short for those that are just wanting to know if they should get it. If you're considering buying it with gems and you didn't yet. If you don't have Red Dragon Archfiend or Power Re Re Powerful Rebirth or both, just get it. Like, these cards alone are worth it. Let's get into the actual review. So, the boss monster of this structure deck, it's an X structure deck this time around, is Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. Now, the Assault Mode monsters have a problem with them needing to be in your main deck. Meaning you need to run bricks. As Assault Mode Activate doesn't summon from your hand. If you draw them, you cannot summon them anymore. So that's quite problematic. There are a few skills to fix them. I will I I, I guess there will soon be a assault mode activate skill that shuffles one back into the deck. It got leaked. 5D score goals coming up. But right now, I just don't see a deck like this working. It's too bricky. I can't see anyone hitting King of Games due to the high chance of breaking. But anyways, um, you need to tribute the regular regular Red Dragon Archfiend with this. With Assault Mode Activate Sum, the boss monster. If it attacks. Destroy all other monsters on the field after damage calculation. Uh, and when it's destroyed, you can just summon Red Dragon Archfiend back. Want to know the big issue here? It, it, it just doesn't do anything for how much investment you need to do. You need to use Salt Mode Activate. You need to summon Red Dragon Archfiend. You need to summon this and all it does is pop everything on the field. And so already 3500, so you'll have no trouble destroying anything, you know. So, the boss monster, not good. Red Dragon Archfiend, I mean, is still level 8 synchro staple, so consider that. Psy Reflector, I've seen a lot of people hype this up as a generic tuner. But there are a lot of problems with it. You need to run it, together with um, Assault Beast and Assault Mode Activate. Hope you don't draw the wrong cards. Summon this, then you can just summon a lot of generic synchros. But the risk of breaking, in my opinion, is too high. There is a skill for Edoroba... Or whatever it's called, Esparoba. That enables you to, if you uh, have lost 1000 life points, to search a Psychic randomly from your deck. You can just search Psy Reflector and go off that way. But I just don't see it being worth it, even with the ability to use Assault Mode Activate as fodder for Scrap Dragon or Bryonek. Uh, you know... Yeah, sure, it's a slower game, but even in here, um, the chance to break are too high and... Rewards not worth the effort you're putting into it. So Assault Mode Activate is a nice card with the given right boss monster and Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode just isn't the right boss monster for this. There are other Assault Mode cards that are way way better like Tardis Assault Mode but it's not in the game. A powerful Rebirth however is still a good trap. Um, get target to level 4 lower Monster Graveyard. Special Summon it increase level by 1 and attack and defense by 100. Um, one big thing is if this card is destroyed, the monster still gets revived. So there are some potential uses for powerful rebirth and because of rebirth and Red Dragon Archfiend um, alone, it's worth 1000 gems in my opinion. I I mean I've bought it for 1000 gems already, that's why I don't see the option on my screen. Um, another good staple in here is Clock Resonator, level 3 fiend type tuner, which once per turn... Um, it cannot be destroyed by battle card facts, which is nice. It needs to be phase up, but once it attack gets attacked, it will go phase up, so it counts for that. So I said Assault Beast, yeah, cool, 900 attack, not too bad, but... Uh, you know, the Assault Mode activate just isn't good at the moment. Why is I mean, yeah, recruiters could be still decent in this game, but not Earth recruits. I just don't see that being a thing. Rose, there are other ways to get this card, I believe. I don't want to get it from here, but uh, I mean, again, it's a while you're tuner, so it can't hurt, I guess. Especially if you ever get x Saber Wayne, or is it already in the game, I don't know. Yeah, this is a nice card. <sighs> yeah, just not good. Yeah, I guess it's water. That might be a reason to win it. Light Gazer, I mean, it's generic. Level 8. So is Red Dragon Archfiend. Red Dragon Archfiend is better. Yoko. It's wise in here. Mind Trust. Not good. Since you need Tribute. Not a good card either. 
I mean, yeah, level manipulation could be nice, but not like this. Bad card. I mean, this does have potential. I mean, the special summon is treated as a synchro summon, so there are definitely some uses for this. But, like in general, King Synchro, I don't see it happening. Good Goblin Housekeeping, yeah, could be attacked for some decks, but... It's not gonna fix the brickiness, and it's not a good way to play around the brickiness either. Swordmaster, another case for card, just not being that good. Uh, double Resonator. Yeah, maybe with some skills this could be good, but uh, right now I don't see it being useful, like Saber El Urbellum. Uh, it's not that great in Duel Links because I need to have a big hand. This isn't the good card either. So, should you get this? It won't be a King of Games deck. You could probably get to like Legend maybe with it if you get a bit lucky. Uh, but I definitely don't recommend it in a competitive side right now. I mean, that's like an Archfiend Powerful Rebirth and Clock Resonator are worth getting the structure for, in my opinion. Because the Clock Resonator being hard to destruct. But in general, as a deck to actually play, I would not recommend it. I mean, there's, there are the better decks out there. Let's just keep that at. Um, so, if I had to give this such deck a rating, I would give it a 6 out of 10. Because it has some good stables, but besides that, it's not a good deck. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the Links video. I don't do the Links video content otherwise, actually. First Duel Links video ever. So yeah, it's also something to change up a bit. Test it out, see if it does well. I just saw this structure deck and I was like, yeah, let's do a review. So, see you guys next time. Start Studio out.